Hi, boys and girls. This video is about adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. So step one, you must find the LCD, which is the least common denominators. To remember how to do that, you list the multiples of each denominator. Step two, find the equivalent fractions using the, the LCD. And that is, that is multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same thing. Add or subtract the equivalent fractions, or you can always multiply the denominators to, together to get the L, to get a common denominator. In both ways, you must remember to simplify your answers if need be. So, let's take an example. Example number one. In this example, is using multi. We're going to multiply the denominators okay so we're going to do oops one fourth plus three eighths so either way my denominators are different so i need to find um, a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is multiply the denominator together. 4 times 8 would give equals 32. So my new denominator will be 32. 1 fourth equals 32 over something and 3 eighths equals 32 over something. So the question that I asked myself, eight times what gives me 32? As I know, I multiply four and eight together, so that means eight times four equals 32. So what I do to my denominator, I must do to my numerator. So I multiply my three by four, so three times four is 12. Here, I want to get 32. Four times what gives me 32? Eight. So I need to multiply this by eight. So now I can add 8 over 32 plus 12 over 32. Because my denominators are the same, it's going to stay 32. And 8 plus 12, I know it's 20. These fractions, I can simplify. I know eight, I know that I can divide each of these by four to simplify. So the answer to this problem is five over eight. Okay, now I'm going to take the same exact problem and show you how to find it using the least common denominator. Okay? So this is an example. Uh-oh, you can't see. Example number two, finding the LCD. So once again, we have one fourth plus three eighths. So step one says to list the multiples. So, so I'm gonna do my T chart for my four. So that's one, four, two, eight, three, 12, four, 16, five, 20, six, 24. I'm gonna stop there. Now I'm gonna do the eights and I'm gonna go all the way to six. But if I do not have enough and I cannot find an LCD, then I am going to continue. But I know 1, 8, 2, 16, 3, 24, 4, 32, 5, 40, 6, 48. So I'm going to look at my multiples of 4. Do I have any 4s over here? No. But I have 8 here and I have 8 here. So that tells me my LCD, my least common denominator, is 8. 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna take one fourth and I needed to get it to eight. And then I'm gonna have my three eighths and I needed to get it to eight. Four times what gets me eight? I know four times two. So if, since I multiply the four by two, I'm gonna multiply my numerator by two. So that's gonna give me two eighths. I know eight times one is eight. So I'm gonna multiply this by one. It's gonna be three. Now I am ready to add two eighths plus three eighths equals five eighths. And as you know, five eighths is already in the simplest form. Okay, so we're gonna do, let's do uh, one more example. And then we're gonna do subtraction. So let's do nine tenths minus two over five. Okay, so this one's gonna be, we're gonna do the multiply denominators. Okay, so no, 10 times five equals 50. So nine tenths, I wanna get this to 50, and I wanna get two fifths to 50. So I know 10 times five gives me 50. So I'm gonna do nine times five gives me 45. Then here I know five times 10 gives me 50. So multiply this by 10. So now I have 20. So now I'm ready to subtract 45 over 50. minus 20 over 50 equals 25 over 50. Now, boys and girls, I know that I would need, these are numbers are big, so I know that I need to simplify, right? So remember to, to simplify, You want to do the GCF. With GCF, you want to list the factors and find your and find the greatest factor. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the next page. So I'm gonna list my factors of 25. So I know that one times 25 equals 25. I don't know, five times five equals 25. Boys and girls, I cannot think of anything else. So I'm going to try to work with these numbers here. 50. I know one times 50 equals 50, right? I know five times 10 equals 50. And off the top of my head, I cannot think of anything else. So I want to find the greatest common factor, the fact factor that I have in common. So the greatest factor that I see that I have in common is five. So what I wanna do now, I wanna divide 25 by five, and I wanna divide 50 by five. So I already know this is five, and I know this is 10 because of my opposite factors. But I look at this and I know that I can go even smaller. I know five can go into 10, so I'm gonna divide each of these by five. When I do that, I get one half. Okay. So now I'm going to take example four and I'm going to find the LCD of the same one. So we have nine over 10 minus two over five equals so we find the least common multiple. So I'm gonna do the multiples of 10 here. One and 10, two and 20, three and 30, four and 40, five and 50. So I'm gonna do five. One times five, two times five, three times five, 
4 times 5 and 5 times 5. So remember, we want to find the lowest common denominator that I have. So I have 10 here and I have 10 here. So that means I can make both my denominators 10. So 9 over 10 equals 10. I know 10 times 1 and 9 times 1 it gives me 9. So I have 2 fifths and I wanted to get it to 10. Okay? So I know I need to multiply the 5 by 2 and a 2 by 2 because what you do to the numerator, you must do to the denominator. So 2 times 2 is 4. So now I'm ready to subtract. 9 over 10 minus 4 over 10 equals 5 over 10. I still will need to simplify. I know that I'm going to find my GCL, right? I know that's going to be 5 and 5, which equals to 1 half. Okay, boys and girls. So now for extra credit and to get a jump start, you can do these examples, two examples on your own. So you can do 5 over 12 plus 1 third. And three over four minus one eighth. And bring those to class and we can go over it and see how you did. I'll see you tomorrow.